Hey everybody, this is John Denise here with Spectrum RC, and I'm here today to talk to you about the AR7700. Actually, Aaron is here to talk to us about the AR7700. Uh, Aaron is one of the product developers at Horizon. Uh, Aaron, what else do you do around here? Uh, focus primarily on FPV, <coughs> flying airplanes and helicopters and multi-rotors. Get, getting big into drone racing these days. So. And how long have you been at Horizon? Been here for three and a half years. Awesome. So the AR7700 receiver, what makes this different than like a regular Spectrum receiver? Well, this is our first serial receiver that's dedicated for multi-rotor and FPV use, and it has a coaxial antenna on it. So uh, like in this application here, I've used a conventional RC car type uh, uh, antenna tube, and that allows you to get the antenna up and away from the frame because that causes a lot of problems for people when they bury their antenna within all the electronics. Right. Basically, it works, it connects to the flight controllers mm -hmm. of, a, of a multi-rotor copter or a quad racer, what, right. whatever somebody has. And there's three different ways. What are those ways and what, how are they different? Well, we've got PPM, which is the most common, but it's not necessarily the most high performance. So you'll find PPM in virtually every flight controller out there. So PPM gives you the flexibility to use pretty much anything. And then a lot of flight controllers have used a uh, remote receiver protocol. So actually, the protocol that's going between this remote receiver and the main receiver. With our existing remote. Right. Okay. So a lot of uh, flight controllers will just use this by itself. But then it's not necessarily a full range system. <coughs> so by offering a receiver that has uh, diversity with both an internal receiver and, an, and a remote, we're able to offer a full range system and it outputs the same protocol so you can plug it right into the flight controller. In addition, it has uh, SRXL, which is uh, a serial protocol that's uh, digital and it's implemented in, in um, some flight controllers, but not as many as them, some of the others. We're, we've been using the serial receiver, the 7700 in uh, uh, quadcopters that have the, the Naze 32, that have the CC3D, uh, Pixhawk, uh, Eagle Tree Vector. Pretty much any flight controller that can take a serial input uh, is compatible with this. If, if you take a look at the, this connection I have here on my uh, uh, quadcopter, there's a single uh, uh, servo connection that's coming out of the receiver. There's no other connections to it at all. And that connection is providing the serial signal as well as power to the receiver. So that's connected into the flight control. Uh, this particular one is a CC3D Atom, and uh, that's all it takes to be able to get all the flight controls, and mm -hmm. it can handle up to 18 channels of data uh, up to 11 milliseconds, or down to 11 milliseconds. Very so cool. Naturally, for 18 channels, you'd need a DX18 for it, but it's also compatible with all of our radios. So if you had a, a DX6, for example, it's still fully functional, but you're not going to get more than six channels out of it. Okay, cool. Now, noticing on the receiver, too, it also has a PPM stream. Mm -hmm. Uh, three channels, and what would somebody use those so for? So, I think you're, you're uh, looking at the auxiliary channels. So the yeah, uh, yeah. So there's gear aux one and aux two, basically five through seven. So on some of your mid-size quad uh, quadcopters, for example, you might have an application where you have a camera gimbal, mm -hmm. and these are conventional servo outputs. So you can connect up a camera gimbal. Um, for instance, maybe you have uh, mode and and yaw and tilt, mm -hmm. and uh, that that makes it simple so you can go straight off the receiver and you don't have to go through the flight control for controlling camera operations. On an FPV airplane, you might use it for things like retractable landing gear or flaps, that type of thing. So, so you're using it in your quad racer. Uh, there's other options or uh, applications, folks, with other quad uh, copters yep. or multi-rotors with uh, gimbal control. So that's what that's for. Mm -hmm. And you, you mentioned airplanes. It can uh, You can put it in airplanes as well. Sure. I mean, if there's a flight controller in your airplane, uh, for instance, I have an FPV airplane set up with the Eagle Tree Vector, mm -hmm. and I'm using PPM out of the 7700. And uh, it's really nice, cleans, the, cleans up the wiring considerably, and it actually opens up a few more options that uh, wouldn't be available with the um, conventional servo signal. In addition, the 7700 can work with or without the included remote receiver, and this gives you the flexibility. If you're flying a small course with a quad racer, mm -hmm. you're never going to have a problem with range, and uh, um, you can keep weight as stripped down as possible. You mm -hmm. know, you use the coax style antenna to get the antenna in an optimal position, but you don't necessarily worry about the diversity. If you're flying a mid-size or prosumer, you might say quadcopter, hexacopter, octo, whatever, and you want diversity with full range performance, then you're going to want to use the included remote. So. And like you said, that works both with and without the remote. That's, That's right. Very cool. yeah. Well, awesome. Uh, there you have it, folks. The AR7700 uh, serial receiver from uh, Spectrum RC. If you want to find out more information, go to our website at SpectrumRC.com. You can follow us on Facebook and also uh, check us out on uh, YouTube and Instagram. And uh, have a great day.